for the future, Arsenal gave it a message. And we take it. Do you so, expect them to continue? Listen, ladies and gentlemen, Pep Guardiola has spoken. Certain guys want to talk about Arteta, say he's not good enough, say this and that. But when you have one of the best managers in the world, one of the main men who's ripping up the Premier League, almost winning every single trophy you can name twice at this point, saying stuff like this, that's a stamp of approval. Guys, Arsenal are coming. And that's coming. That's not from me. That's from Pep Guardiola. People can see with their own two eyes that this team has progressed massively since Mikel Arteta has come in through those doors. And this video I'm about to play for you guys is an interview from Pep Guardiola. If I'm not mistaken, let me check where the interview originally came from because I seen the interview on Twitter earlier today. And when I seen it, yeah, so it came from Melissa Reddy. Melissa Reddy works for Sky Sports News and she did an interview with Pep Guardiola yesterday ahead of the big game tomorrow. They face West Ham, we face Everton, they win, they win the league. They drop points, we have a possibility that Arsenal win the league. It's very unlikely, but still a chance. You know what I mean? Very unlikely, but there's still a small chance. And if it does happen, how I would love it. But let's get into this video before we talk about the Arteta's video. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to Ego Talks Football, I cover everything Arsenal, plus a little bit of the other clubs. And with the Euros coming around, we're going to talk about that too. But let me know what you guys think about this video quickly. For the future, Arsenal gave it a message. And we take it. Do you so, expect them to continue being your closest challengers? There is... I have a few certain things in my life. <laughs> like is, I wake up in the morning and I'm going to sleep in the night. <laughs> this is going to happen until the rest of my life. The other certain... With the age they have, with the manager they have, with they were playing the last two seasons, they will stay here for a long, long time. That's why we get the message. So <laughs> whatever happened on Sunday, if you don't, okay, we'll start to be ready to compete against with them, they will take our position. So, and uh, because I know, I know Mikel, I know the team, I know the, Arsenal, what is the institution? And, uh, but I know Mikel. I know him inside the team. It's going to happen because he's a huge competitor. I think our chemistry or our when we work together, uh, I've, I've, we, <laughs> I felt it. Whatever happened or whatever the moment they take a position that they is right now in Arsenal, he would do it. He would do it. What I took from that is Pep Guardiola knows Arsenal are coming and he knows... And he knows we're, we're taking over this Premier League soon. Basically, if, if, it's not if, it's when. Because at this moment in time, Pep Guardiola has seen the future. He basically can see the vision. He knows this team is not going nowhere. He knows this team is going to be there and thereabouts for the foreseeable future. And, and the main thing that you need to, you need to take away from this interview is his exact words. Now, let me just show you. This just Arsenal gave it a message. When he says we're giving a message, what does he mean by that? What is it? What does he? What does he mean by us giving a message? The message is that we're coming, right? And then when she specifically asks him, "Are they going to be your title rivals for the foreseeable future?" Right. This is going to. What does he say? Happen into the rest of my life. For the rest of his life, he can see it. He knows Liverpool's out the picture. Arsenal is now his number one challenger for the foreseeable future. And people are going to say, oh, he's buttering you up. He's doing this. No. What he's doing is he's basically explaining to you guys that this team is legit. They, we might get the better of them this year, but there's no guarantee we're going to get the better of them ever, ever again. They're coming. They're, they're giving me a headache. They're the team that give me nightmares at night. This is one of the best managers of all time. One of the best managers of all time. And he's basically showing all of you guys that no matter what happens tomorrow, some of you rivals, some of you Arsenal fans that are saying Arteta isn't good enough. Arsenal has peaked. They won't challenge again next season. It's a bunch of baloney. A bunch of baloney. And look. The other certain, with the age they have, with the manager they have. 
especially the manager, as he points out the manager, as he makes sure he emphasizes the manager, because the manager is a big part. Mikel Arteta is one of those meticulous people who, who makes sure he crosses every T, dots every I, and he's going to get, and he wants to win. He wants to get everything to that level. And he knows him. He knows how good of a manager Arteta is. He had him as his number two for a reason. And he's learned a lot from Pep. Now, if the student will overtake the teacher, we'll see. But right now, the teacher is telling everybody, take notes. Take notes. With they were playing the last two seasons, they will stay here for a long, long time. That's why. We're here, we're here for a long, long time. And you know what? I think that's more for the people who are salty. The people who don't realize that what Arsenal have done and how we've improved. Year after year after year after year after year. And you know something? Arteta himself had an interview today with Lakeep where he spoke about it and he said something across the lines that Arsenal hasn't even reached the full stage of where he wants us to be. We haven't even reached the final levels of where Mikel Arteta wants us to be. But yet, people want to say, oh, it's done. Well, I'll tell you this, what's done. Klopp's era, Klopp Pep era, finished. Pep is still here, and he's still winning trophies. But who's to say that's for long? I genuinely believe Arteta's time is coming, and his time might be Sunday, but if it's not, he still has a long future, in my opinion. And you guys just need to have a little bit more patience. Arteta has these guys playing at a level where Pep Guardiola's teams have been playing for the last four years. It took, us, it took him his second full season in management to finally get a team ready to challenge. His fourth season now, he literally points off the title on the final day. Let's not throw this away, guys. Let's not throw this away. People say there's no certainty that this team will be here next season. Well, one thing I can tell you, in Mikel Arteta's hands, I think we're very comfortable. We're very safe. We're very safe. Let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. This was the Lekip interview. I'm not going to play the whole interview, but some key points. Arteta says that we're we're not tactically yet where we where he envisions us. And he says that there's some staff players who have separated him and he did not think they'd de uh, be delivering what they are now He when he came in. So s some people surprised him. You guys can actually go watch the full interview. It is a keep interview, but let me just play a, a little section of it for you guys. One thing that I had clear, I think, is that I had to change the environment. That was my main priority, and not the players, it was the staff, it was the club, it was the supporters. We have to change the environment. And I will tell you guys right now for free, he has fully successfully changed the environment at Arsenal. He's made it a much healthier environment. He's made it a better environment. Let's continue. And he was an unbelievable exercise person because I had certain opinions or thoughts in certain people that probably weren't the best. And with the wrong environment, they were even worse. But as well, I have some expectations with people that I didn't think they were going to be doing what they are doing now with the right environment. And I think everybody deserves an opportunity. Well, you Boom. Who could he be talking about? Could he be talking about Saka? Could he be talking about who? Because not too many players are left. Uh, he, he is he talking about Saka? Was he talking about Xhaka, who's already left? Is he talking about Ben White? I don't know. I was very sure. Decision, your idea depends on the place that you have, and I was very clear with that. I was a city. I was training with every single day. I was clear from day one that we could not do the same thing, and it would be the biggest mistake to try to replicate that. It was a challenge because you have to adapt. You have to think about new ways. Did you hear that? have 
and I was very clear with that. I was a city, I was trained with every single day. I was clear from day one that we could not do the same thing and it would be the biggest mistake to try to replicate that. It was a challenge because you have to adapt. Did he just say he did not try to replicate city? Interesting. Interesting. And to that you have to be better than the opponents and we have to identify very clearly where we could win games and to start to build what we wanted after. Considering your common history with Pep, is it important for you to sort of have your own style and free yourself from his influence and not be Arteta who learned with Pep? Is it important to have your own way of doing your things? Well, for sure. But uh, the reality is that I learned a lot from Pep. I learned from Pep since I was 15 years old and I was in Barcelona and I was trying to to play in his position when he was captain. That's a reality and I'm so grateful and uh, and so blessed for the experience I have lived next to him um, and my gratitude will stay forever. But then you have to create your own path and copy and pasting, it doesn't work. I have influences for... Copy and pasting doesn't work. There you go. So to the people who say Arteta just copies Pep, take notes, take notes. Listen, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to bring you back more content, hopefully, tomorrow. We're going to be doing Vibes from the Six. We're going to be doing uh, the 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 match day. And if you guys want me to do a watch-along for the final game of the season, let me know, and I might do a watch-along for the final game of the season. Anyways, that's it for now. Good night. God bless. And I'll see you guys soon. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.